The model that I use in my class is I have students do work beforehand, um, pre-class work, so that uh, they do readings, they do videos, um, and answer a series of questions. Um, and then they come into class prepared for class, and then in class we don't cover that same material. We then do more processing, we talk about um, the questions that they have, we talk about misconceptions, we work through it in groups, and we really kind of dig deep into the concepts. For the pre-class assignments, I create videos using screencasting software like Camtasia Studio. So I can write on a laptop and write uh, a short lecture somewhere around five minutes or something. Uh, and I write it right on my screen and then I can narrate over that lecture itself and post those to YouTube. And so that's one of the tools that I use. I also just scour YouTube for any videos that I might find that are useful. In order to integrate the pre-class assignment, I use Google Forms to add together videos, the readings that I want them to do, as well as pre-class questions that I like them to answer, just reflective questions on the material and on what they're confused about to provide feedback to me for the course. Um, you can do the same thing with Sakai's lessons tools, which I've experimented with this semester. Students really love this approach. They actually get to come to PLU to interact with me rather than just sit and listen to me. They get to interact with fellow students and the class is really centered on their concerns, on the things that they find confusing. The main benefit for me is that my students come in completely prepared. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, when they come into class, I ask them, what are we studying today? And in unison, everybody knows exactly what we're studying. One reason I'm doing this is for a technical course, upper level technical course in physics, there's a lot of material to cover. Uh, and so we can't always cover it in class and then also have practice in class where the students can learn how to do it. I really like this method because then the students can learn the basics of the material outside of class. And then we come in to process it and digest it. Uh, so we don't have to spend time talking about definitions. They already know definitions. We can spend time actually applying the definitions. What does the definition mean? How do we use it here? Um, how do we use this particular technique? And so for the students and for me, it's a lot of less wasted time. The time spent on things that could be done better asynchronously or on their own time are done outside of the class. In class is a conversation then. Many of the students have remarked that class is way more meaningful for them because they're actively involved in what they're doing rather than just going over material that they probably could have read somewhere else. 